So I've been playing with Elite Motion for about a week now. Got my developer kit in this last Monday. And I've been surprised how easy it is to dive in and start playing with it. The uh, OSX client was dead simple to install. And running the visualizer was thrilling enough. But jumping into some of the other examples really started showing the strength of the Leap Motion. So what I've got set up here is a, a simple JavaScript application. It's running in Chrome. And it's listening in a WebSocket, on a WebSocket, for the Leap Motion's packets of data. And they come in as, as JSON objects, really easy to parse, really intelligent data, gives you an array of pointers that have X, Y, Z coordinates. I, I think it's really great that they decided to, to simplify everything and provide just the essential data as opposed to uh, providing raw data that you then have to use a computer vision framework or something else to parse and interact with. Uh, working in the Cartesian coordinate system is so intuitive for most people. It's so easy to get started. So what I have here is a simple web page, and, and it's showing you that when the Leap Motion registers your fingers, it puts the blue circles on the screen, and then I have it set to when your fingers get past that, set a threshold in the, uh, the z-axis here. So when they get past negative 20, it adds a class to them, active. So all these circles are, are just divs floating around the screen here that I'm storing in an array and updating as necessary when packets come in. The Leap Motion provides an ID for each finger. That ID keeps incrementing up after a while, so it's not, it's not perfect. You can't remember exactly which finger it was, um, but it's certainly enough data that you'd be able to create some fun interactions. So here's just a quick demo. It's uh, what everyone's been thinking that the Leap would be great at is a minority report style interface. So start the loop here. Get some cat pictures coming across the top here. I call this my cat stream. You can pull them down. When the finger is active, it'll grab an image, and the image will stay tracked to the finger until it becomes inactive. And when it's active, it also looks at the z-axis of the finger to determine the zoom of the image. Works with multiple fingers. multiple hands, and I've created a simple gesture that when it sees eight fingers, it wipes the screen. So you, here you have it. This is, this is the initial alpha version of Meowority Report, which will be the web's premier minority report style interface cat meme browser. Right now it's searching the Google Images API, but I hope to hook it up to a few more APIs. Maybe look at uh, search trends to determine what cat words are trending, prefixes and suffixes to create a more dynamic application. Here you have it, the Leap Motion, running JavaScript, pulling information out of a WebSocket, grabbing images from the Google Images API. This is the future right here.